we are here now with a true Hollywood icon who started classics like Ghost and St. Elmo's Fire. Now, Demi Moore is starring in a new series, Feud, Capote versus the Swans. Welcome to Demi Moore, everybody. Thank you. Yes. So and happy to you, be here. And when we had the little tease before you came on, you had, you had Peel off with, I with you. Peel off the little mouse. We see peel off. <laughs> peel off has been on red carpets. Has been doing all this promotions. Um, used to the fame, enjoying the fame. Peel off. I think the truth is she's the star, and I'm her accessory. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't take this the wrong way. The only text I got from my daughter this morning was, "Is the dog You're here?" Gonna be like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, she is. First of all, the greatest gift that I've ever been given, and my daughter mm. found her. And she's like my little extra heart. She has my, been my traveling companion for the last, you know, almost two years now that I've had her. And she's just, she's just, oh, look at her. She's just magical. She has something magical about her. Well, you can see it on the screen because you two are starring in, um, in Feud. Ryan Murphy, the creator that said, you two have been trying to work together for a long time. When we he have. called you, you were like, whatever it is, I'm in. I, I mean, truly, I thought, okay, after all of these times we've tried different things, I said, that is exactly what I said. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I, I, I had read it, the script, and it, he said, please tell her not to talk herself out of it before we get on the call. <laughs> well, he gave you a big assignment, Anne Woodward, a very complicated character, fair yes. to say. Tell us a, about a it. Complicated, a very tragic mm. life, mm. this woman, and I think there's great responsibility when you're stepping into play a real person. Mm. And even though the, you know, Capote, it really goes into Truman's perception. It was important to me to kind of honor the truth as much as possible in all the research I did. The, the question of her, did she murder her husband or was it an accident? From my research, it was an accident. So it was but very- he, he implied it was murder. Oh yes, oh. and I think that that, after you know, Anne lived a life that was of a lot of rejection. The family rejected her that she married into, um, no matter how good she, she never lived up to anybody's standards. She just never fit that social, you know, stratosphere. And I think Truman starting his dinner table fodder, making her the bang bang mm -hmm. murderess, was really the nail in the coffin for her. All right. Y'all want to see a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. Here we go. You're telling people that I murdered my poor late husband? Isn't that slander and libel? And you're telling people it's in your new book? Well, if it were not true, it would be libel, Anne, but it is true. And we all know it. And it will be a very interesting chapter. I don't know why you started this. I mean, we... We were close. Just tell me why. What mm. an amazingly Ooh. talented cast. Yeah. Real star power, real star power. Was there anyone who stayed in character the longest? I don't know if there was anybody that, you know, television, you're working at quite a pace, but I mm -hmm. would say the person who had probably the biggest job really was Tom Hollander playing Truman mm -hmm. because there was so many aspects and I feel like he so embodied the essence mm -hmm. of Truman. It. It, it's, I, I think his performance is a revelation. Mm -hmm. I, and he was such a, a joy. And most of my scenes were with Tom. Mm -hmm. And when we finally had a scene that was less contentious, we were like, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not being mean to each other. So. Yeah, the craft service table looking at him like, I don't like you very much. <laughs> and you're, you're also part of the Brat Pack. We, yes. And you all got back together for a documentary. What can you tell well, us about that? I'll tell you. So um, I got a call from Andrew McCarthy, mm -hmm. and it's really interesting because, you know, the Brat Pack moniker that came about really didn't have anything to do with us as people, as professionals, mm -hmm. uh, and it was just a, a clever headline. And it's just interesting because Andrew really wanted to explore the impact it had on each of us because for yeah. him it had a, actually mm -hmm. a big impact. Um, for Rob, it kind of just, you know, slid off his back. For me, I didn't, I didn't love it being thought of as a, a brat because I felt like it kind of diminished us mm. as, um, as professionals. But it didn't, it, I, I didn't carry it. Mm. 
Yeah. So it was, I think it'll, I haven't seen it yet, but oh. I, I really enjoyed my time with him sitting down, reminiscing. Such and, a thoughtful guy. Yeah, yeah and I was only much. sorry that we didn't get a chance to all be together at one time. Oh. Mm. That, that would be really a treat, actually. Mm. What, what swan do you think would have fit in well with that group? <laughs> well, what I think is there's, like, the swans would never have been in that group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's didn't leave <laughs> Before you go, please tell us about Bruce Willis. How's he doing? You know, um, it, 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 I think given the givens, he's doing very well. And what I'll, what I'll share is what I say to my children, which um, it's important to just meet them where they're at mm -hmm. and not hold on to what isn't but what is because mm. there's great beauty and sweetness and loving and joy out of that. It's oh, great wow. to hear. Yep. Thank you. Well, you're, you're hitting the thoughts are with him and the whole family. Thank you. I mean, great to have you. Thank you here. so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. You can't wait to get back to Pilaf. Right? <laughs> get back to my Pilaf little Pilaf mouse. Like, this was my moment. You put me on the sideline, Mama. This is my moment. I love you, little mouse. <laughs> Look, she's watching me with yes. rapt attention. Yes. yes. <laughs> FX's feud, Capote versus the Swans, premiere tonight at 10 p.m. on FX and stream tomorrow on Hulu. Make sure you check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.